Hi, this is E.T. The fighter's personality, lone wolf individualist, is not generally attuned for team play. And several prominent examples back this up, and I'll give you one today. Ingemar Johansson, he never adapted to military life in the Swedish Navy. He was already less than popular in his homeland after he was disqualified from boxing finals at the Olympic Games in 1952. He had failed, said the referee, to show fight, whatever that means. Then after turning professional at the age of 20, he was drafted into the Swedish Navy, and that was a branch that he detested, and he was assigned to submarine duty. He said, and I'm quoting, I detested the sea. If they thought they could get me down in a sub, they were in for another thought. His company commander admonished him, Johansson, you're the boxer, yeah? Then you should be a role model for the other young men. Ingemar flatly refused. He said he's not going to be a role model for anybody. And he let it be known he's not going to follow orders. And he didn't. He refused to wear, for instance, the protective beret. He refused to march in step. In fact, once he's marching with a platoon, and the officer barked, halt. Now, in Swedish, that has two meanings. Ingemar kept marching, but with an exaggerated limp. And he explained, hey, I thought you meant halt, as in crippled. Ingemar went AWOL, absent without leave. He went home to Gothenburg for a few days. Upon his return, he sent to a military psychologist, and there he had a fit. He was dragged from the building, charged with insubordination. He spent 60 days in the brig. He said, I enjoyed it. It was a bright end to a dark time. Well, Johansson's 11-month Navy nightmare ended, and he returned to the ring. And in June of 1959, He took the heavyweight title from Floyd Patterson, and he became famous. He appeared in movies, several Swedish films, and in the U.S., he was in All the Young Men, playing, believe it or not, an army soldier. He was on television. You see him here with Dinah Shore. Would you sing it for me? Well, I can try. All right. He appeared on What's My Line? Notice the panelist here, Dorothy Kilgallen. In 1965, she interviewed Jack Ruby. Jack Ruby killed Lee Harvey Oswald. Oswald killed President Kennedy. Dorothy, after the interview with Ruby, claimed to have found the truth of what happened. Days later, she's in bed, dead, at age 52. Make of that story what you will. This is E.T. Thanks for watching.